there is something that's called milongas. So milonga is the place where you go to dance tango. You don't need to go with a partner. You can just go alone. You sit down, you see someone you want to dance with, you look at them. If they look at you, you smile, they smile. That means you both want to dance with each other. You stand up, you get in the floor and you start dancing, right? So we do that in the milonga, the place where we dance tango. What happens after is like you usually have four songs. So you dance four songs with that person and then you can both sit down. Anyway, I went to one of those milongas. I started dancing with, uh, with people. It was an international event, right? So most of the times when you go to these kind of events, you ask people, okay, where do you come from? Uh, how many days are you going to stay here? These kind of things, right? Which are, I mean, even if the person responds, you don't really get to know who they are, right? So at that night, I was, I was feeling like, okay, let's, let's get to know the people behind it. So I start asking people, why do you dance tango? right? Which is kind of like a very, very heavy question. Nice to meet you. Why do you dance tango? And people are like, what? You know? And I had this fear, like when I start thinking, okay, let's ask that question. I was afraid that I'm going to push people away, make people uncomfortable. But I was happy to see that that was not the case. Like most people, they smile. They just took like a few seconds and were like, okay, that's why I dance tango. So that night I had a person telling me that, uh, why do you dance tango? Say, well, I want to calm my mind. And a lot of people are coming to tango just because of that. It's, it's, it's an active meditation. You cannot think of something else. You have a person, you're interacting, you have communication, you're only focusing on the feelings and the music, the dance floor. If you take them all into account, you really don't have time to think about anything else, right? So it's very easy to calm your mind when you go to tango. You had some people that were like, well, I'm just here for social reasons. I want to meet people. I want to dance with other people. And I continue asking. And then I had two answers that really changed the way that I, I experienced tango. And I, they have a lot of uh, connection with what real life is, right? And I'm going to explain that. The first one was a woman who just said, told me, like, I'm dancing to stay alive. It was this kind of moments that you realize that the person you're dancing with might be uh, having a very hard life, might be considering to discontinue that life and they are coming to tango and they're like no no matter how hard it is i will go to tango i will find my peace there so you can imagine how strong tango can be argentine tango but it was the other answer that really it, it, it was for me it was it was it was life-changing so i asked this woman why do you dance tango and she says uh i'm pregnant so i was like wow like i started saying like you know congratulations and everything and uh, it's kind of, you know, kind of didn't smile, stop. I was like, what happened? And uh, what she told me at that moment was that she was pregnant, but she, she went to the doctor and the doctor told her that there was some kind of incompatibility with, uh, with the baby, right? The body of the baby and, and the woman's, which meant that the baby would not survive. There might be like a small chance that it would get born, but uh, the probabilities were not there, right? And... Um, we hugged again, uh, but it's the moment that you realize you're actually hugging two people. My embrace changed as well without even thinking about it. Like the hand, instead of being like higher at the back, just went a little bit lower, more or less, like closer to the baby, right? And it was feeling like I was dancing and saying my hello and my goodbye, you know, at the same time. And this is not something that you communicate with steps. Tango Argentina does not depend on steps. It depends on the embrace. So it, it was th that moment of, of like, it, it was one of the most meaningful uh, dances of my life, right? As you can imagine. And it was this kind of dances that uh, made me ask, why am I dancing? I'm Dimitris, I'm half Greek, half German. The last years I, I devoted my life into tango, not as a teacher, but uh, as an author, I also wrote the book Tangofulness. It's a book that focuses on, on meaning, meaning in tango. The reason there was that I, was, I wanted to be more into tango because it could be healing for my heart. I was working for a company. I was the CEO of probably the biggest marketing and training company for experts in Europe for a few years. But it was a very stressful job. Uh, very difficult. After a while, I started having heart problems. Some people might know what it is, like a, a silent heart attacks. And at one moment, I realized, hey, you know what? I want to do something that I love. 
and tango was was definitely one of my passions so i decided to take all my expertise in marketing and move that into the tango space i started asking myself how can i help others and i remember my first years of tango where i was just looking for a good uh, for a good teacher right but i didn't know how to look or what to choose from so i thought to myself okay let's let's start with that so i conducted let's say about 200 300 people 300 maestros around the world i had people who danced tango for more than 40 years right world tango champions judges of the mundial de tango a lot of amazing teachers of tango right and i asked them for their advices and i put everything in one book it became the tango tips by the maestros and i shared this book with the world so people can read the different chapters and they can find the right maestros for them and i started playing a little bit more with this idea of what can i create to help more people in tango and then tango for good platform came up as an idea uh, as you probably know there are a lot of projects that use tango for alternative therapy for palliative care for uh, social inclusion for people who really need it right because there's a lot of healing properties in tango and uh, i want to create a platform that we help people and that we help this kind of projects when you have a silent heart attack sometimes you, your heart might give you some like let's say small pain points you can feel it every now and then uh, and the worse it is the more, the more the pain right and i actually i said to myself no i will go i will dance tango this calming experience the music the embrace i believe in it like i had events where i was going i was dancing and after that i was feeling a lot less pain after those two dances that i told you the stay alive and uh, the woman with the baby there was the moment was i was like okay i want exactly as i received embraces that i consider healing i want to be able to dance with someone and offer this kind of embrace uh, an embrace that will calm them down that will make them feel protected that will make them feel safe right and then i will allow my feet and our steps to do whatever they need to do while protecting this feeling of the embrace the more you see the parallels between tango and life the more things become a lot simpler in tango as well as in life let me say this imagine you are in milonga right beautiful place nice floor hopefully good music from the 40s or maybe 50s it's an old music but it's a beautiful very very rich music you enter in there you have maybe you dressed for a night out uh, tango allows you to do that you can dress uh, in ways that you wouldn't normally dress in real life you sit down you you're ordering your, your wine you sit on the table you see some amazing people like dancing around you see old people like we have people 80 90 some people are, like we have a person like i think it was 100 and something years old dancing and you have on the other side you have people 20 years old 25 and then you see this very improbable mix couple you have a person that's 25 someone that's 65 they would probably not meet so easily in, in everyday life but now they have a common language tango and they dance together you see people smiling and laughing having a good time you see people just being so focused in the embrace it's almost like nothing happening around them uh, you start paying attention to their legs how they move how the music starts how people jump out of the chairs when they hear a, a song they love and suddenly you see someone you want to dance with right and you turn and you look at them and they look at you you move the head like that you smile they are there they feel like hey somebody noticed me that's what you're telling them and that's a beautiful feeling to feel noticed right and then you stand up come close together you have this first moments that you start maybe you take a step back maybe a step to the side you can take a step wherever you want any kind of direction you want tango is a completely uh, improvisational dance we don't have like specific figures that we need to do in the beginning you, you embrace the other person then you start moving together and you start noticing okay does that person move easily does that person need more resistance imagine you want to go to the side and that person does not understand it so well you need to find a different way different pressure points different way that you will rotate your body or whatever it is to make sure that okay i can communicate a side step i can communicate a front step i can communicate a pivot it, it's almost like magic after a while when you finally click and you say oh now we can communicate to each other it's the moment where you basically tell to the other person i understand you right so first you tell them i notice you then you tell them i understand you then you start moving together and 
during the dance, you try to, to show to the person that you have in, in front of you that, okay, I'm not going to throw you to another person. I'm not going to throw you on a chair. Or you, you're not going to hit a wall, you know? You matter to me. So when you dance tango, you have this beautiful thing. You tell somebody you notice them. You tell somebody that, you know, I understand you. And you tell them that they matter. And you can do that all without asking questions as I do. You just do it with your body. Silence, just the music, but you're not talking. And a lot of people, after they have this kind of experience, they say, okay, I want, I want to continue dancing tango for the rest of my life. They realize that tango is not, it's not this kind of thing that we have in our minds with, you know, the, the rose on our mouth and this very pretentious movement. But the tango Argentino that we normal people dance has nothing to do with that. It's just two people trying to figure out how they can move together while keeping the embrace. Tango, if you experience it this way, it can really be healing.